Superintendent, Dr. Hal Harold's in the studio with us this morning. Dr. Harold, good morning. Welcome back. How are you, sir? Hey, I'm doing well, Mario. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. How was your Thanksgiving? It was excellent. It really Great. was. Not as many people around the house, but mm-hmm. you know, we still... Made the same amount of food, which I think worked out better for me this year. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Well, good. Very yeah. good. Uh, it was. Uh, it went by a little quick. Uh, it did. It's been two weeks since I've been here, but it only feels like a few days. Yes. Well, talk to me what's going on with Uvalde CISD and the Uvalde campuses. Yeah, well, quite a bit. And first, I want to hit on the Uvalde High School. Mm-hmm. I want to give a, a big thank you to the parents and the students uh, for trans. Uh, transferring into the virtual setting as quickly as they did and accepting what we needed to do at the high school. We became a little understaffed uh, due to close contact and moved into that virtual setting and went almost seamlessly. Okay. And uh, But we'll be back in person, that in-person opportunity on Monday. If Monday. you are in person on Monday the 7th, the doors will open and expect you back and want you back. And again, these things are done out of uh, safety, safety first, uh, so safety is a top priority. Yeah, absolutely. want to keep our kids and our staff and families here in Uvalde as safe as we possibly can. Do our part. Great. And uh, uh, what, are, uh, what else is going on in other campuses? Yes. Well, throughout the district, uh, we had the iPad uh, initiative that we've given out uh, probably about 92 to 95 percent to all the students okay. throughout the district. So parents, students, if uh, you're still lacking your update in your iPad or mm-hmm. iPad for yourself, uh, contact your campus at this point, and we'll make an appointment to get with you, whether you come to the campus or we deliver it to you. But we want you to have the updated iPad, and uh, if you've got an iPad that's from the previous generation, I want to get that back and give you an updated one. Well, great. Uh, so... Um, of course, they can contact their their their, their campuses and they'll yeah direct them con- from contact there. the call the campus, talk to the secretary, mm-hmm. talk to the principal, and we'll make those arrangements. But we want to get you updated. So we're in December already, and uh, before we know it, you're going to be having another break. I think what in maybe two weeks or so. Two weeks, yeah. Actually, two weeks from today, mm-hmm. we'll be uh, going into Christmas break. Okay, yeah, okay. absolutely. So, Actually, the break starts on a Friday. Okay, wow. So, okay, yeah. so, two so weeks. then that will run through uh, probably what the fourth. Fourth maybe? of yeah. Uh, the teachers will come back on January the fourth. Mm-hmm. The kids will return on January the fifth. Two weeks and a day is what two they weeks get. and a day. What, <laughs> I mean, uh, two weeks and two days is yeah, what they get. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. All so right. and and that. Uh, brings up a, a good point that if uh, parents you want to make a change in the educational setting of your child if they've been virtual and you want them to come in person start mm-hmm. beginning in January the uh, window opens for you to make that change in your Skyward app or your okay. Skyward uh, program that you may have on your laptop or home computer or if you want your child to go from the in-person setting into the virtual that change as well. The, uh, it, each, uh, grading period, every grade nine period. weeks. Okay, nine mm-hmm. weeks. Okay, mm-hmm. I need to remember that. Yeah. All right. And if uh, there's no change, then there's nothing you need nothing to do. Nothing you need to do. Okay, yeah. well, great. Absolutely. Well, what are we doing in sports? How are things in uh, the uh, academics and stuff? I going mean, going sports, well. I mean. Yeah, last night Lobos had a big win against CC win. Uh, both the basketball team and the uh, both Lobo and Coyote basketball teams will be in action this weekend, Friday and Saturday. And I've got to give a big shout out to our band. They mm-hmm. will be leaving about 8 a.m. Saturday morning. Up and early. Yeah. Up and early, <laughs> headed to Cal Allen for their area marching contest. Well, good for you them. Know, they, I've, hear, I've heard nothing but good things. Absolutely. They've done extremely well. Uh, good. They received all ones at the last uh, performance, and I expect them to do just the same at Cal Allen. Well, great, great. Now, we have a studio guest with us hey, this we do. morning. Who's, we, who's, uh, we, who's here with us we, this We've morning? got a man who wears many hats in our in our at our high school in the ag department i got mr charlie black here and i believe he's got some updates in different areas all right charlie uh welcome good morning how are you doing this morning sir hey great mario and appreciate the chance and opportunity to be here this morning absolutely thanks for stopping by talk to us about uh things that are going on over at the Ivati high school with the uh, ffa well our ffa program is really doing well uh mario you know last year i hate to go back but uh we, we had to beg and borrow to get 100 students in our mm-hmm. program, and, and this year we have over 200 FFA members this year. We're, uh, we're doing a great job, awesome. and uh, I truly enjoy seeing the success of this chapter and, and seeing them grow. Now talk to us about some of the things that, uh, that, that goes on when a student is involved with FFA. 
Well, this I time, know there's a number of things. You bet. This time of year, we really focus on the leadership teams. We, mm-hmm. we train a lot of leadership teams, and I have the help of Miss Dalrymple with me, and, you know, it kind of uh, rounds out our program. She kind of focuses on the animal science side mm-hmm. of it, and I kind of work in the ag mechanics part of it. Uh, you know, we, we're, we're beginning to have effective meetings. We've got officers that are doing a great job. But those leadership teams are, are, are excelling right now. Our senior skills teams are back-to-back district champions our Great. junior skills teams are doing well we win all those contests those statewide contests we go to and that uh, winning is infectious and i mm-hmm. think that's what's made our uh, our chapter grow so much and we, Great. last spring we didn't get to have those judging contests that we generally get to go to and have some success there and our chapter still continued to grow now um i understand uh the students they they take part in like a radio competition script reading and and uh, they, i mean it's just kind of endless uh and then there's also uh uh what is the other one called the um we do we do some public relations okay uh, ag advocacy radio mm-hmm. broadcasting mm-hmm. junior senior skills uh those i mean are just all the things. list goes on it's it just does. so much that that they do um well also there there's a there's also uh the with the with the stock show is you guys are involved with that as well right yes sir uh supervised uh, agricultural experience program mm-hmm. is very important in our program that's where the opportunity for a child or a student to have a uh, animal project mm-hmm. and, or that's a big responsibility project. there for it the is. students yes. uh, take on the project like that it is and it's a lot of fun to see them uh, uh, mature with that project mm-hmm. also it teaches a lot of responsibility and, and a lot of dedication a lot of work mm-hmm. prior to prioritize what you're doing and so mm-hmm. forth and, and i think we live in a an agrarian community mm-hmm. and, and i think our community really likes to see a good ag program yeah and and then over the years they've added more uh, projects to that where they have a, a, a well categories i guess they have a, a projects now where they like restore tractors and 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 build things that's also yes, sir. we have we have uh, a few entries in the ag mechanics program here at the stock show and uh, we're excited about those and mm-hmm. as we mentioned stock show right now we're full go on the stock show Good our, to know. I know our community wants to hear that and wants to back our students and that, that are involved in this at Uvalde County and right now at this point we're full go great great what else can you tell us about the program you know uh What's unique about our program, we have something for everyone. Mm-hmm. We really do. Uh, last year, we initiated or started a barbecue uh, team, and that team competed at uh, a contest and advanced to state. Uh, with the pandemic and everything, state got canceled. Mm. But, uh, you know, we, we, we didn't let that get in our way. We fired up again this year. And Great. We even volunteered to host a regional oh, at Uvalde wow, okay. High School. Mm-hmm. So we're hosting a Texas High School barbecue regional qualifying event. Uh, on December 11th and 12th okay here on our, on our campus and we're excited about that that's next weekend okay great yeah that's not this the next one you bet yeah. okay we'll great. have we'll have several teams you know I, I think it's gonna be down from a little bit just because of the things the times we're in but mm-hmm. uh, we're excited about those those top uh, placing teams will advance or to a spot at the state barbecue championships in May well I know last year you brought in some students uh, part of that program uh, how many students do you have on that team this year we have the same uh, team members okay, uh, okay. La- as last year and they're uh, just uh, got one more years of experience okay. in their belt, so we're All excited right, about their opportunities uh, we'll have uh, we, we invite the community to come out uh, mm-hmm. Friday uh, those teams start checking in after noon mm-hmm. and uh, uh, they'll start setting up and you'd be really surprised by how uh, fancy or how uh, uh, how good those teams are set up to have a, a barbecue cook-off and then we'll have a little live music Friday okay night. okay where's uh, this taking place it's gonna be at the high school parking lot okay over there by the uh, college center or our mm-hmm. uh, college campus and uh, you know Saturday five in the morning it starts everybody wow. lights their fires and what, what are what are some of the the meats on the categories uh, right. what are we looking at Oh, we have a brisket division, mm-hmm. we have Good. a ribs division, chicken division. Full-blown barbecue, I mean, it's huh? full-blown nice. uh, beans and everything. And, and the cumulative score of that is how they advance or place those teams. I think Dr. Harold and I are going to be uh, judges for this <laughs> yeah, event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd like to appreciate, uh, you know, mention H-E-B. They're a big sponsor Great. of this deal, and they're helping us out. And, uh, you know, it's just really neat to see – Students get an opportunity mm-hmm. to be successful. That's what we look for. In our community, we're fortunate. We have support uh, from the community. Mm-hmm. We have our administration yeah. support. We have school board support. We're just excited about the things that are happening in Uvalde FFA. 
Well, that's great. I thank you for uh, filling us in on what's going on with FFA here in Uvalde, and uh, we look forward to many great things. And I know uh, it's exciting with this event coming up next weekend, and I'm sure the students are very excited as well. You bet. Thank All you, right. Mario. Well, I thank appreciate you. you. All right. Thank you, sir. Dr. Harold, uh, again, as always, uh, thank you for taking the time to talk to us and uh, come by the radio station and visit with us and everything you've already CISD. A- absolutely. We appreciate you having us, and uh, great things are continue to happen in Uvalde schools, even through this pandemic. We're, we're still moving forward. Fantastic. Well, thank you again.